Just think, if you purchase two or three bottles of water, that's about 15 to $20 just on water alone. This is a problem for me. Hey guys, I'm Krista Amanda, and in today's video, I will be sharing the top airport money saving tips because we all know how annoyingly expensive everything is in the airport. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first airport money saving tip is to either bring an empty water bottle or frozen bottled water with you. Although bottled water is not allowed through airport security, frozen bottled water is. So you can either freeze water or bring an empty water bottle and then refill it at a water refill station after completing your security screening. So you'll be saving about five to eight dollars on one bottle of water. Just think, if you purchase two or three bottles of water, that's about 15 to 20 dollars just on water alone. This is a problem for me. And sooner or later, one bottle of water will run about 10 dollars if it doesn't already. And if you do bring an empty water bottle, Consider a reusable stackable bottle because it saves on plastic and space when stacked and it's easy to clean. The second airport money saving tip is if you forget to pack your cell phone charger, go to the airport lost and found first before purchasing an overpriced one because they will most likely have a charger to match your phone. Some airports give owners up to 30 days to claim their lost items, other airports 90 days, so Lost and Found will not just give away property without following proper protocol. The third airport money saving tip is if you're traveling internationally and the destination doesn't use or accept your currency, exchange foreign currency at your local bank before your trip. Depending on the type of bank account you have, the exchange rate fee will either be waived or your bank will get you the lowest exchange rates. Or if you decide to exchange currency at the destination airport, Use an airport ATM and not an exchange kiosk because exchange kiosks charge the highest exchange rates. The fourth airport money saving tip is if you don't want to purchase food at the airport, you can bring your own food or snacks from home, but everything must be packed in transparent containers or bags. And if you pack any liquids, the containers cannot be larger than 3.4 ounces. This includes anything spreadable in non-solid foods like peanut butter, cream cheese, yogurt, oatmeal, applesauce, pudding, etc. The next airport money saving tip is if you have a long flight and you want to or prefer to travel with a neck pillow, purchase one in advance and not at the airport. Neck pillows at the airport are overpriced and touched and tried on by many other travelers throughout the airport. The next airport money saving tip is if you plan on renting a car for your trip, Avoid overpriced car rentals at the airport and book your rental in advance. It's like booking flights in advance to get the best deals. Same applies when booking car rentals. And if you don't know where to start or look to book your car rentals in advance, try Expedia.com. Expedia has good deals on flights, hotels, cruises, car rentals, bundle packages, and activities like tours and excursions. The next airport money saving tip is when using your electronic devices in the airport, use a VPN or portable Wi-Fi. Although the airport has free Wi-Fi, it isn't available throughout the entire airport. And I honestly don't recommend using their free unsecured Wi-Fi. So instead of purchasing overpriced secured airport Wi-Fi, use a VPN, virtual private network, or portable Wi-Fi. This is not sponsored, but NordVPN is a VPN service that offers a variety of VPN packages. They have an app available for download, but I also included the link in my description. Or another Wi-Fi option is the GlocalMe portable Wi-Fi. I also reviewed this in my Amazon Travel Finds video, so be sure to watch that next. It takes a SIM card, or if you don't use a SIM card or forget to purchase one, you can purchase local or global Wi-Fi packages right off the Global Me app. Let me know if you ever purchased anything at the airport that you regretted. For me, it used to be bottled water. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and save. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys! Imitation, c'est ça qui commence la pagaille.